What a glorious day. The birds are singing, the flowers are blooming. On days like these, angels like you should be burning in hell. Okay, who the heck thought this would be a good intro skit? On days like you, angels like you should be burning in hell? Just a freaking oxymoron. Um, sorry for this, folks. Enjoy this intro while I go find a neck to strangle. Behold, it is I, the great and powerful, not to mention humble, Neos, or as people will probably just call me, Jonah's Dark Side. My host is asleep at the moment, so I thought I'd do him a favor and tackle a certain commentator. Besides, he'd probably screw it up anyway. Anyway, Frozen Angel, the newest target for my hit list. He's another commentator, although his commentaries aren't what I would call good. Why? Well, you just have to suffer through this commentary he made on a reviewer by the name of Ask.AIR with me. Deal with it. Well, get this garbage day. Somebody come to pick up the trash. Okay, maybe it's because I'm a sucker when it comes to presentation, but your intro makes me want to strangle cute puppies. As somebody who's dealt with Movie Maker in the past, I can tell when it's being used. And let me tell you, you could have done a whole lot better than this mess. I could point out how you have no profile picture for your target, how the font size is kind of hard to read, or just how lazily put together it was in general. Jonah did better with his first commentary. I'm skipping an intro with just pointless shoutouts. We fucking go. What happened to you, man? You were such a likable character. Now you're an excuse to be tortured as comedy. Just seconds in, and I noticed two problems. One, just because Squidward gets tortured, that doesn't mean he's any less likable. If anything, he's nicer in the newer seasons. Ouch, so close. You almost had a point. But then you had to say he's nicer in the newer seasons. A claim is completely opinionated, and this claim also has another flaw, but we'll get back to that later. And also, fucking Wii video, why not just use Windows Movie Maker or iMovie instead so you don't have to deal with the watermark? But it never works out. These are what I picked are 10 worst spun uh, Squidward torture episodes from the show Spongebob. I noticed you don't use a script since you're stuttering. If you notice that you stutter, cut it out or do a retake. Making a claim without any evidence, are we? Well, yes, you are right that he should do retakes. Just because he stuttered doesn't mean that he's going through the video without a script. That was just an assumption that wasn't needed. And the rules are, I will not be including any shows, any episodes that I have already reviewed, like Choir Boys, and I'm not reviewing any episodes like Section Cup Symphony, where Squidward wins in the end. Yeah, you might want to all remember this part of the original video, it's actually going to be important for later. I tried so hard, and got so far, but in the end, it doesn't even matter. No, this wasn't me, this was part of the original video. Frozen, Amigo, what was the freaking point of this? This doesn't make any sense. Ask was simply stating the criteria for how his list was going to go. If you're trying to say the criteria doesn't matter, then you really have no idea how countdowns work. And if not, then this feels like I was here for no more reason than LOL FUNNY MEME. To put it shortly, your reference sucked. Boo, you stink! So, these are gonna be some very bad episodes. Some of them are gonna be Oh yay, something got cut and I wasn't the one to cause it. Now, seriously, either you have terrible wording or you cut yourself off. I mean, why else would you start off with bottom of Squidward's eyes? This is a problem since you can't prove any points you have to make. So you're not going to explain how Squidward's designed? Something you seem to have a flaw with is a problem in the video? No? You're just going to move into a whole entire new section? Okay then. Okay, here's the main issue with the video. Ah, my eyes, they burn! 
No, legit, you couldn't manage to take a screenshot that's god-awful compared to what the original looks like? The shot you took is extremely blurry and makes it near impossible to read. Does presentation matter at all to you? Actually, stupid question, I can probably guess the answer. You don't play any clips from the episodes. Instead, we just get backgrounds with the- Wow, wasn't this episode obvious? Wow, um, this episode was a major leap based on Squidward. It wanted to copy Krusty Krab training video, and a lot of people noticed that. But it honestly didn't act like that a lot for me. And, um, honestly, this episode sucks. We have the worst three writers we could possibly have. Um, it goes, it, the whole four or five minutes is just Spongebob being a bad driver and Scooter being a good driver and getting punished for it. Are you going to show us proof to back up the statement? This is why you need to show proof, so I don't have to go looking myself to see if you're right or wrong. Okay, first off, Billy, you couldn't bother to speed it up. You couldn't bother to think your audience will get bored watching. You couldn't bother to get an actual good avatar from Overwatch. Also, if the whole entire show proof complaint starts becoming a constant thing, well, somebody's going to suffer, and it's not going to be me. Now, I am going to skip forward a bit, but there is one point I'd like to address. And the rules are I will not be including any shows, any episodes that I have already reviewed, like Choir Boys, and I'm not reviewing any episodes like Suction Cup Symphony where Squidward wins in the end. See the contradiction? He says that he's not going to include episodes where Squidward wins, then includes an episode where Squidward wins. You could have easily addressed this. clips from the episodes. You can't just say, oh, I like this part of the episode, without playing clips from the episode. It just makes everything way too confusing. Okay, they begin to bug me. Ask doesn't need to show proof. He's reviewing the episodes. He had to have watched them again before putting them on the list, and asked that she's using anecdotal evidence. Not to mention, he actually said what the joke was. And he said something like, I heard some joke in the episode, so yeah! You would have had a point. But otherwise, just no. <laughs> I'm a critic. I don't make things. I judge things. I'm a judger. Okay, why are you playing a clip now? Why don't you just play clips through the whole video like I've been saying? Since you've already proven you can. If it's because of copyright, you could just edit the footage like I just did. <sighs> you really are a moron, aren't you? So you admit copyright is a thing, and yet you still went through at this point. Listen. Frozen. It doesn't always work that way. You can edit videos all you want. Companies can still find ways to be jerks about it and take the video away from you. This is especially true in this scenario, considering Viacom. Even if you edit your videos, they will try some way to take your video down. Knowing this, maybe, just maybe, Axe didn't use multiple clips from the show to avoid having his channel taken down, or at least getting a strike. If it's because of the lack of space on your phone or computer, you can just buy another memory card. Assuming he's having problems with his memory card, you dunce. Also, this may be a large hypothetical, but don't forget, Ask might be a kid. The large chance he can't buy certain appliances of technology because of how much they cost. I mean, heck, the standard memory card for a PC costs $60 at best. And if it's because it takes too much time, I only have one thing to say to that. Get good. And I have one thing to say to that. No. Translation! I was too lazy to simply find the video online and watch it to see if anything acts that was factually incorrect. After all, looking up episodes is hard. Laziness, thy name is frozen. Three seconds. Three seconds. 
Three seconds. So this episode really sucked. So uh, it was the first episode where Squidward didn't do anything wrong and he got majorly punished for it. So he was trying to enjoy Sunday and SpongeBob and Patrick come and annoy him. No duh. If this was the first Squidward torture episode, wouldn't that make it less obvious? This honestly makes no sense because even before Good Neighbors, there were episodes where Spongebob and Patrick annoyed Squidward as a means to start a plot. Knowing this, people would know what to expect by now if they previously watched the show. What Axe was saying was that the torture towards Squidward, even more so in normal episodes, was unexpected. In other words... You never see it when they come to annoy him, he just annoys them. And he installs a security system, it, it makes his house uh, destroy Bikini Bottom, and guess what, just, 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 just guess. The whole, all Bikini Bottomites come, and he, for every Sunday for the rest of his life, he has to do community service. Yeah, which is really weird, because there was another episode dedicated to how he has, he has to go to work on Sundays, so I don't really understand that. Well, remember, it's only a cartoon, so they weren't thinking much of it when they wrote the episode. True, but that makes it all the more distracting, since Spongebob at least has some levels of continuity. If you want an example, Imitation Crabs. The robot is seen multiple times throughout the series after that episode. As such, it's easy to see how Axe would assume something like a schedule will get carried over. Pal, maybe you're just unlucky. Wow. But this episode goes way past the point of being unlucky and just bothering Squidward. This episode manages to do every possible thing you can to poor Squidward. Okay, if it manages to torture Squidward in every possible way, then why isn't the episode number one? If this is the case, you should have the most problems with it. But it seems like you have the most problems with this episode from that statement alone. Which I find really confusing, because you should have the most problems with the number one entry, and not the fucking number five. No, Frozen, that statement doesn't imply that. Axe just said it managed to do every single little thing with Squidward. It doesn't mean it should be above. I mean, for Pete's sake, for all we know up until that point, the episode might have not even gotten him as angry as the number one did. If you want an example, take me. I believe Pokemon X and Y has the most flaws out of the main series. And yet, if I were to put it on a list, it wouldn't be on number one, because I felt more frustrated playing Hot Gold and So Silver. In other words, finding multiple problems doesn't mean anything compared to feelings. Something you seem to be lacking. And when I say borrow, I literally mean steal or take or anything else. And uh, when Squidward comes to Spongebob's house, uh, obviously, since Spongebob has came to Squidward's house enough times to make an exact replica, and I mean exact, and they're actually like playing like legit horror music and stuff in the background, so I'm not kidding about this episode. Because that totally hasn't been said to death by every Spongebob reviewer ever. Because having the same opinion on our episodes as other reviewers completely renders the point as invalid. Can you even think? Also, your wording here sucks. You don't elaborate on what point has been constantly said. The copying of Squidward's house, the whole music. This is what happens when your interjections are almost always near 10 seconds long. By the way, the first half of this episode is just SpongeBob and Mr. Krabs asking how his day was at work. And then we got four minutes of SpongeBob uh, going around places with Squidward and saying, Please come home with please come over for a visit and i really enjoyed that one like two second scene where a squitter steps on spongebob's face because i really enjoyed that you enjoyed it because you enjoyed it seriously use a fucking script okay people tell me how much money were you bet that what ask was saying was that he was glad spongebob got stepped on because of the context he provided previously and frozen took it too seriously how much $1,000? $5,000? Over $9,000? What was this working bad? Well, yeah, it was, but you're blowing this out of proportion. So, uh, first of all, screw the laws of trajectory. There is a truck and it heads right into Scooter's house. Right before Patrick lifted the road so it wouldn't hit Squidward. 
which later has shown that he dropped the road on Squidward's face when the doctor said not to hit, let any damage to his face. I really hate these these writers' guts. So you hate someone just because they made a bad episode of a cartoon. Really? And I thought the animation reviewing community couldn't get any worse. But sadly, I was wrong. The way you worded this makes it seem like simply because Ask said this, it reflects in the reviewing community as a whole. If that's what you were going for, you're as shallow as heck. Uh, and we get the itis treatment again, as we always do in episodes like Demolition Doofus. What do you mean by the itis treatment? Do you mean when they said head go boom boom itis or something like that? If so, good job stealing Mr. Enter Mate, I rate 7 out of 11. Implying having the same flow or making a similar point is the same thing as stealing. You're just looking for a way to discredit him. Please stop! So, this episode is very, very, very bad. This episode is very, 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 very bad. Is it very, 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 very... Six and a half hours later. Very, 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 very bad. So, wait, are we talking about the episode or your points now? Turn down for what? So all in all, this is a video I can't say is good or even decent in the slightest. Your mic quality is shit. Not to be that guy, but dude, you shouldn't be talking about how he's hard to understand when your back the music begins to drown out your own voice. You never show proof. You know, except for the media clip that he did show, that you yourself even showed. But details. Anyway, time for my final thoughts. So, Frozen Angel. You are indeed a weird specimen, and I don't mean that in a positive way. One of your biggest flaws are your points. The reason I skipped so much of this video was because you were a broken record throughout. While it may not be as bad as your abysmal video on Meta, it was still annoying and made your video a chore to slog through. Your presentation was lousy, from the lack of avatar images to unneeded media clips, and as such, I come out of this bored, hungry, and want a drink. So I found this is Neo's, saying, get good, you peasant.